The James Webb Space Telescope is the largest space telescope ever built. This miracle, which was launched on December 25, 2021, was intended to show us regions of space that we had never seen in detail before, and it did. The James Webb Space Telescope discovered something surprising in the early universe, and this revelation has led some to believe that the Big Bang has ended and that our knowledge is insufficient to trace the origins of the universe. As a result, we may need to reevaluate the idea that the universe began with an explosion. You are watching Z, and in today's video, I'll show you what the James Webb Space Telescope uncovered at the tip of the cosmos, which largely refutes our knowledge of the universe. But before we go any further, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell button. Plans for a high-tech telescope dubbed the Next Generation Space Telescope were unveiled in September 1989. Decades had passed, and construction on this magnificent space telescope had begun. The James Webb Space Telescope was finally completed in 2019 after 30 years of consistent effort and over $10 billion spent, after which it was launched into space in December 2021 and began orbiting the Sun at the L2 Lagrange point, 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. The James Webb Space Telescope is the world's largest infrared space observatory. The structure of the Webb Telescope is straightforward. The primary mirror is made up of 18 hexagonal pieces. This first mirror absorbs infrared light, which is subsequently reflected by the secondary mirror. The light is directed into the scientific instruments by the secondary mirror, where it is recorded. The sun shield regulates the temperature of the telescope and allows it to cool down. It accomplishes this by radiating the telescope's heat into space, maintaining the proper temperature for the telescope to operate at. Following that is the spacecraft bus, which is critical for the telescope since it supplies electrical power and controls like as heat management, altitude control, command and data handling, communication, and propulsion. The star tracker is another option. The star tracker's data controls and aligns the telescope so that the telescope's target appears in the field of view. Although the Hubble Space Telescope was a marvel for astronomers in terms of space exploration, it did have limits that prohibited astronomers from getting more detailed data. The James Webb Space Telescope, on the other hand, is incredibly powerful and can collect more detailed data than Hubble. The Webb Telescope is almost 100 times more powerful than Hubble, and its infrared technology and capacity to view into the distant past simply outperform Hubble. With such incredible capabilities, the James Webb Space Telescope's goals are to detect light from over 13.5 billion years ago to see the development of the first stars and galaxies in the early cosmos. Discover the universe's smallest and oldest galaxies, compare them to today's galaxies, and learn about their evolution and how galaxies form over billions of years. See past the dense dust clouds to the regions where stars and planetary systems form. Investigate and explore the atmospheres of exoplanets in search of the possibility of life on other worlds in the cosmos. However, it's no surprise that our cosmos is full of things we don't understand. And with something as powerful as the Webb Telescope in space, we're bound to uncover some perplexing realities, which is exactly what the James Webb Space Telescope recently did while exploring the early universe of the Dark Age period when, according to our models, the universe was empty space, the Webb Telescope discovered things that should not exist. But, before we get any further, it's critical to understand how our existing models explain the genesis of the universe. According to how current models explain the genesis of the universe, the universe itself began with a massive explosion known as the Big Bang. Following the explosion, the universe experienced inflation, which is defined as a burst of expansion faster than the speed of light. Following the inflation, the cosmos expanded at a slower rate, and the universe was filled with neutrons, protons, electrons, anti-electrons, photons, and neutrinos. All of this happened in the first few seconds. Then, in the first three minutes, the light elements of the universe were born through a process known as nucleosynthesis. 
According to physicists, the cosmos was too hot for light to shine for the first 380,000 years, therefore light remained as fog. Following this, the Dark Age began, a period in the early cosmos when our universe was essentially empty space, with no planets, stars, or galaxies, and nothing but particles and atoms. The Dark Age began approximately 400,000 years after the Big Bang and lasted hundreds of millions of years. The cosmos began to emerge from the Dark Age 400 million years after the Big Bang, when matter began to collapse sufficiently to form the first stars and galaxies. Following this, the cosmos continued to expand and heavenly bodies began to develop. However, some 5 or 6 billion years after the Big Bang, a mysterious component known now as dark energy began accelerating the expansion of the universe. And then, around 9 billion years later, our solar system and planets emerged. This is how our scientific data, studies, and models explain the origins and evolution of the cosmos. However, because the Webb telescope can see so far back in time, it investigated the early cosmos and uncovered something shocking that contradicts our models. But before we go any further, please subscribe to the channel by clicking the bell button. The James Webb Space Telescope observed galaxies developing in the dark era while examining the early universe. Images from the Webb Telescope indicate that these galaxies are significantly larger than our Milky Way and convert nearly 100% of their gas into stars, which is exceedingly rare and only theoretically possible. This directly contradicts our conceptions of the cosmos. Because, as previously stated, the dark age of the cosmos was empty, with no stars, galaxies, or planets in existence. However, the incredibly massive structures that appear to be galaxies or star clusters seen by the Webb Telescope date back to the universe's dark era. This has perplexed scientists and astronomers alike, as our models and scientific data fail to explain such a strange occurrence. Some argue that this calls into doubt our understanding of the Big Bang and how the universe came to be, and that the cosmos did not emerge as a result of the Big Bang, but rather from something else that science cannot yet explain. Some experts go on to say that our scientific knowledge is insufficient and incorrect. Furthermore, the Webb Telescope detected another galaxy that emerged approximately 550 million years after the Big Bang. This revelation sent shockwaves across the scientific community once more. Apart from existing at a time when our theories explain that nothing existed, this galaxy is actually quite small and, strangely, is creating stars at a rapid rate. And, at barely 16 kiloparsecs in width, it is not only the tiniest galaxy identified thus far, but also highly perplexing because its size and number of stars defy our scientific understanding. These anomalies not only call into question our existing theories and scientific models, which have been extremely successful in explaining our universe over the years, but also strongly suggest that our early universe expanded even faster than we thought, and that there may be other forces and particles that we don't yet understand that were responsible for forming these early galaxies and expanding the universe at a different rate. Experts have attempted to explain these oddities by proposing explanations such as the possibility of undiscovered forces accelerating star formation in the early universe, resulting in the birth of these galaxies in the early cosmos. Another possibility is that early galaxies formed because our universe expanded faster than previously thought. Scientists explain this by positing that our universe exists among many others, and when black holes from other universes approach our universe, their gravitational interactions with our universe can change the rate of expansion of our universe. However, the hypothesis that additional universes exist strongly suggests that the cyclic theory may be valid. You may wonder what the cyclic theory is. The cyclic hypothesis is a model of cosmic evolution that proposes that the universe goes through cycles of expansion and contraction, resulting in universes that begin with a big bang and conclude with a big crunch, and that this unending cycle continues and therefore multiple universes exist. However, the likelihood of such a theory being right is highly speculative, and locating other universes may be impossible. 
And, if the cyclic theory is right in describing cosmic evolution, our science will require a paradigm shift, and textbooks on the origins of the universe will need to be rewritten. The James Webb Space Telescope is undoubtedly a marvel, and its capabilities are simply astounding. This discovery of something previously unseen hints at how the Webb Telescope will reveal additional secrets as it functions in the years ahead. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and please leave your comments or questions in the section below and don't forget to subscribe for even more incredible content.